Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 21st of August. India's COVID-19 cases tally crosses 2.9 million mark. At least 24 killed in rain-related incidents in Pakistan's Punjab. US would retaliate if bounties on troops in Afghanistan prove true, says Trump. And now for all the details. India's COVID-19 tally has zoomed past 2.9 million mark with a single day spike of 68,898 infections, while the recoveries have also increased. In a major relief for stalled businesses, hotels are all set to reopen in the national capital, along with the permission to resume weekly markets on a trial basis. However, India's apex court on Friday said it is not inclined to permit festivities during Ganpati festival in Maharashtra this year since the crowd becomes uncontrollable. Maharashtra is the worst affected state from the infection. India's COVID-19 tally crossed the 2.9 million mark on Friday with the country reporting 68,898 cases in the last 24 hours. The coronavirus cases now stand at 2.9 million 5,824. The total cases are inclusive of active cases. In a major relief for stalled businesses, hotels are all set to reopen in the national capital along with the permission to resume weekly markets on a trial basis as part of the resumption of economic activities under Unlock 3.0. However, gymnasiums in Delhi will remain closed for the time being. India had observed one of the longest lockdowns in the world to prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, an easing of lockdown in phased manner was announced to allow economic activities to get back on track. जो पेशे यात्री आती हैं उनको बहुत सहायता होती है और इससे रहने की व्यवस्था हो जाती है और सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग के साथ सेनेटाइज करके अगर रूम दिया जाए तो कोई कोरोना मामले पे नहीं कोई दिक्कत नहीं। Meanwhile, in Western Maharashtra, which is the worst affected state from the infection, Supreme Court of India on Friday allowed devotees to offer parution prayers in three Jain temples in Mumbai. However, the concession will not be applicable to any other temple or for 10-day Ganesh Chaturthi festival which begins from Saturday. India on Thursday pressed for having an Indian lawyer to represent Kulbhushan Jadav in a Pakistani court when it takes up his review petition against his death sentence. 50-year-old retired Indian Navy officer Jadav was sentenced to death by a Pakistani military court on charges of espionage in 2017. India has asked Pakistan for Kulbhushan Jadav to be represented by an Indian lawyer for filing a review petition against his death sentence. Indian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Anurag Srivastav during a virtual press briefing on Thursday said, India is in touch with Pakistan through diplomatic channels on the issue relating to Indian national Kulbhushan Jadav, who is on death row in Pakistan. Earlier this month, Islamabad High Court had formed a larger bench to hear the petition case pertaining to the appointment of legal representative for Jadav. Reportedly, the larger bench will hear the case on September 3. Uh, we believe for a free and fair trial, in keeping with the letter and spirit of the ICJ judgment, we have asked that Sri Jadav be represented through an Indian lawyer. However, it is important that Pakistan needs to address the core issues and as, as, as I have said earlier, these core issues involve providing all the necessary documents in this case as well as providing un, un, unimpeded consular access to Sri Jadav. 
India approached the Hague-based International Court of Justice against Pakistan for denial of consular access to Jadhav and challenging the death sentence. Jadhav was arrested by Pakistani security agencies in 2016 and was sentenced to death by military court on charges of espionage and terrorism in 2017. Indian Parliament, led by Speaker Om Birla on Thursday, urged the international community to isolate Pakistan for sponsoring terrorism. Exercising its right of reply at the Fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament, India said Pakistani PM admitted there are nearly 40,000 militants on its soil. Pakistan's aggressions in 1965, 1971 and 1999 attack on Mumbai and Parliament Uri and Pulwama show Pakistan's state-sponsored policy of terrorism, which is evident in the inaction against likes of Hafiz Said, Mazood Azhar and Ehsanullah Ehsan. The Indian Parliament also highlighted that the UN Analytical Support Sanctions Monitoring Team mentions Pakistan as the leading exporter of terror, with more than 6,000 nationals currently engaged in terrorism. In news from Pakistan, Relentless monsoon rains lashed Pakistan's most populous province, Punjab, on Wednesday night and on Thursday, killing 24 people and injuring several. Most of the deaths were caused by collapsing roofs and walls, reports suggest. At least 24 people were killed and multiple others were injured in rain-related incidents in different parts of Pakistan's eastern Punjab province on Thursday, Rescue officials said. Several houses have been completely destroyed by heavy downpour and thunderstorms in the province, and the majority of the Dickies lost their lives due to roof collapse incidents, reports suggest. Earlier this week, the Pakistan Meteorological Department informed that strong monsoon currents were likely to penetrate from Wednesday that will produce widespread rains in the country during the next three to four days. Deadly floods occur regularly during the monsoon season in Pakistan and monsoon rains wreak havoc in cities and towns where drainage and sewage systems are antiquated and outdated. Moving on. Ex-candidate of Gilgit Baltistan Assembly, Sarfaraz Ahmed, has said that lands of Gilgit have been seized by the people of Khaivar Pakhtunkhwa. Activists have long blamed that over the years the Pakistani state has been trying to change the demography in the illegally occupied region by allowing such moves. Sarfaraz Ahmed, ex-candidate of Gilgit Baltistan Assembly, has said that lands of Gilgit have been seized by the people of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa while urging enforcement of boundaries. Sarfaraz Ahmed said they also went to court regarding the land dispute, but the issue remains unheard. Activists blame that over the years the Pakistani state has been trying to change the demography in the illegally occupied region by allowing such moves. There have also been concerns that Islamabad intends to merge the illegally occupied territory into the Pakistani province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. <laughs> Although Pakistan never had a legal claim over the territories of Gilgit Baltistan and Pakistan administered Kashmir, but since their occupation, Islamabad has misused the territories by not only exploiting the land and resources, but allowing China to foray in. United States President Donald Trump has vowed to retaliate if there are countries who offer bounties for attacks on U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Reports about U.S. intelligence findings that Russia paid the Taliban to kill American troops in Afghanistan emerged in late June, but Moscow denied the reports. The U.S. President Donald Trump on Thursday vowed to retaliate if other countries were found to have offered bounties for attacks on U.S. troops in Afghanistan. But he gave no indication whether his stance towards U.S. intelligence reports outlining the bounties had changed. Reports about U.S. intelligence finding that Moscow paid the Taliban to kill American troops in Afghanistan emerged in late June. Russia denied the reports and Trump had made clear that he did not believe them. 
This comes at a time when the United States is encouraging peace talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban while preparing to withdraw the last U.S. troops to end almost 19 years of war. Americans. Well, you don't know about the bounties. I mean, you tell me if you know something, you can let us know, but you obviously don't know very much about it. But if we found out that would be true, if we found that would be a very, uh, uh, it would be a fact. What you just said, we would hit them so hard, your head would spin. Go ahead. Critics have accused Trump, who is seeking re-election in November, of not taking intelligence information concerning deaths of soldiers seriously enough. The U.S. invaded Afghanistan in 2001, and the death toll of American service members have surpassed 2,400 in the longest war in Washington's history. See what you got. With just a day left for Hindu festival of Ganesh Chaturthi to begin, artists in parts of India are making innovative yet eco-friendly idols of elephant-headed god Ganesha. During one of the important festivals in India, devotees buy decorated and colourful idols of Ganesha and establish them in their homes for 10 days and revel in religious pageantry. The idols are then immersed in water bodies. Ahead of Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations across India, artists are trying to make a variety of idols of the elephant-headed Hindu god Ganesha, yet making them eco-friendly as well. Kamdhenu Gau Amrita, a Vadodara city-based organization in western Gujarat state, has made eco-friendly Ganesha idols using cow dung that can be dissolved in tub filled with water for further use as fertilizer. During Ganesha Turthi, devotees buy decorated and colourful idols of Lord Ganesha and establish them in their homes for 10 days and revel in religious pageantry. The idols are then taken through streets in grand processions accompanied by dancing and singing to be immersed in water bodies symbolising a ritual sea-off. And this is our concept that पीओपी को छोड़के मिट्टी के ऊपर जा रहे हैं लेकिन माटी के अंदर भी उसका कोई यूज नहीं है पर्यावरण शुद्धि के लिए कोई उसका मैसेज नहीं है लेकिन इस गोबर के जो मूर्ति है इससे बहुत बड़ा संदेश जाता है कि हम पर्यावरण की शुद्धि कर सकते हैं इससे हमारा जो मूर्ति है हम अगर उसको विसर्जन करने के लिए तालाब में कहीं जाने की जरूरत नहीं है घर के अंदर ही बाल्टी के अंदर तब के अंदर करके इसको विसर्जन करें इन सदन तमिलनाडु स्टेट Kovai Kulangal Padhukapu, a non-profit organization that cleans water bodies in Coimbatore city, has made eco-friendly Ganesha idols with lentil seeds embedded in them. According to the idol makers, the idols will not pollute water bodies and they will get dissolved in water within an hour. Ganesh Chaturthi is one of the most important Hindu festivals and is widely celebrated across India. Theatre artists in India's Jammu and Kashmir have resumed rehearsals for plays braving the COVID-19 virus fear so that their creativity remains intact. Although the stage is set for the artists, the seats remain empty due to the restrictions in wake of the pandemic that has put a halt to all cultural gatherings including theatre. A group of theatre artists in India's Jammu and Kashmir have resumed rehearsals for plays braving the COVID-19 virus fair. Although the stage is set for the artists, the seats remain empty due to the health restrictions in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic that has put a halt to all cultural gatherings including theatre. But artists are still enthralling the audiences via virtual means so that the creativity of the artists remain intact. थिएटर करने का वही था कि एक आर्टिस्ट अपने मूड में रहे रिहर्सल करता रहे और एक आर्टिस्टिक उसका जो है एक ज़हन में जो क्रिएटिविटी है वो क्रिएटिविटी उसकी जिंदा रहे वही मकसद था अच्छा एक चीज़ आपको बताता चलूँ कि ये जो इनिशिएटिव है इस वक्त ये सबका कलेक्टिव इनिशिएटिव है इसमें कोई गवर्नमेंट कोई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सपोर्ट नहीं कर रही है बल्कि आर्टिस्ट लोग खुद आए हैं इकट्ठे हुए हैं मैं भी हूँ उनमें एक वन ऑफ द मेम्बर्स हम सब ने एक मिलजुल के एक फैसला लिया कि हम कुछ ना कुछ करेंगे According to the artist, all precautions are being taken, such as performing rehearsals outdoors rather than indoors, and wearing masks have been made compulsory. So far, Jammu and Kashmir territory has recorded 30,034 COVID-19 cases, out of which 22,497 people 
have recovered or discharged and 572 have lost their lives. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianNewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianNewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.